In this video, we'll try to gather some data from multiple web pages and uh, do some transformations in Power Query. Uh, this is the website, Box Office Mojo. Uh, I thought I'll gather uh, top lifetime grossing movies over the years. And it is spread over across uh, multiple pages, as you can see. And whenever you're changing the page, you can see in the address bar, there is a small uh, subtle change in the address. So as you can see here, it is equal to 600, 800 and so on. So we will try to first gather the first page data and uh, using the web connector and then we will try to create a function and then later on we'll do some transformations in Power Query and once we do that uh, we'll go to the Power Query editor window. Here is the window uh, as uh, expected we have all those 200 items in from that first page we have rank, title and lifetime grows and year. As shown here, uh, as you can see, uh, that is a web address which we copied uh, and pasted into the web uh, connector. And we can create a variable here as we have already seen in the address bar. Whenever we switch from one page to another, there is some subtle change. So we will try to use that value uh, uh, as a variable here and uh, kind of append uh, this. Uh, address and to the end we can use the ampersand and uh, we will try to add that in a code so remember we are trying to gather uh, data from multiple pages so we want power query to do the work for us so this is one of the methods this is the one of the way we can do that so click ok it becomes a function we will try to name that as movies function so that way we'll remember that this is a function so this is the first step and second step is like i said we can create a table name this table appropriately as movies so this is the main table for us we will uh, make sure that everything is okay and click on okay then we have a table here and uh, next step is we have to click on this and add home and invoke the function. We will try to highlight that part. There is only one column and we will try to select the column. Click OK. Once we do that, as you can see here, uh, Power Query has gathered the data. Uh, if you highlight on each end of the table, uh, you, the second table has 1 to 200, 201 to 400 and so on. So all the thousand rows appears to be um, gathered by Power Query. So this is one way of doing it. As I said, uh, we can try to gather pages uh, multiple pages data from multiple pages so we will select ok and we have those things and we have all the uh, thousand records from those multiple pages 